here's another experiment with the polarimeter. Uh, this one is going to use sucrose. Um, first, again looking down into the polarimeter, we can see complete extinction of light at 45 degrees on this polarimeter here. This experiment involves mixing 20 centimeter cubed of concentrated hydrochloric acid with a solution of sucrose made up from 50 grams of sucrose dissolved in 50 centimeters cubed of water. As soon as the acid is added to the sucrose solution, hydrolysis of the sucrose starts, producing the products glucose plus fructose in equimolar amounts. Uh, as soon as we add the acid, and stir it up. We'll put the mixture into the polarimeter and monitor the reaction with time from the polarimeter readings. So let's start the experiment. Give it a quick mix. And there we have our hydrolysis mixture. The next step is to put the hydrolysis mixture into the polarimeter tube. Then place that into the polarimeter and record a reading at time zero for the extinction of the light and then start the stopwatch. So that looks, let me just check, that's the correct reading and we can start the stop clock there and that reading is about 20 degrees on the polarimeter Well, of course, that's 20 degrees to the right. And as the reaction, hydrolysis reaction progresses, light starts to shine through the center of the polarimeter. And we'll take another reading in about, at about three minutes. You can, of course, if you need to, uh, watch the progression of the reaction through the polarimeter. Now, one and a half minutes. Light clearly showing through the center of the polarimeter there. So we're just coming up to three minutes and we can confirm that the initial reading was taken when the polarimeter was moved 20 degrees in a clockwise direction. And if we take a reading at three minutes, which is coming up now, 
you have to rotate the second polarizing filter until the light goes out there and then take another reading and we now find it's at about 34 34 at 3 minutes as we take a snapshot and come back to the vertical view already in the next 40 seconds we start to see some light coming through the polarimeter as the hydrolysis proceeds and the products of the hydrolysis reaction have different optical rotations to the sucrose starting mixture We will in fact take our next reading at six minutes. So once more we can clearly see light shining through the polarimeter and we can confirm our previous reading which is at about 34 there on the pointer let's position the camera 52 almost time 53 54 on the stopwatch and we can now again rotate the second polarizing filter to extinguish the light and take a reading at six minutes and that's there and now we've moved on to about 42 degrees so 42 degrees at six minutes our next reading will be at 10 minutes
And of course we're looking for light down the centre of the polarimeter, not the reflection from the glass around the edge, the halo ring effect there. We're now at eight and a half minutes, another minute and a half to go. So once more, let's just check the position of the pointer before we take our reading. There it is at about 42 from last time. Here we are, light clearly shining through the center of the polarimeter tube. Time just coming up to 10 minutes and time to take another reading. So we again rotate until the light's extinguished there and take another reading and it's now moved on to about 50 degrees of course that's 50 degrees anti-clockwise that we've had to rotate and back to the vertical position and we can just see a little bit of light shining through already after an additional 46, 47 seconds. Well, our next reading will be taken at 20 minutes, so we'll stop the video there and come back in about 9 minutes time. Well, in fact, contrary to uh, what we said previously, it's probably better to take a reading at 15 minutes, we're at 44, 45. So just to confirm, the reading before that we took at 10 minutes is at 50 degrees. We're coming up on the clock now. 56, 57, 58, 59. Here we are. 15 minutes. And we can see light through the center of the polarimeter. Let's just extinguish that again. There. Moved a little too far. Out there. And take another reading. That's moved on a little bit. It's now at about 54 at 15 minutes, 54 degrees. Okay, we're just coming around now to the reading at 20 minutes. The clock's at 54, 55, and you should be able to see a small bit of light coming through the polarimeter. So that's the reading now. Let's just extinguish that light down to the camera and it's there and we're again going just a bit too far reading there okay we take that around and we've now moved up to about 53 and a half 54 So just coming round to 30 minutes, clock reading 29.43 there, and as you can see looking down through the polarimeter, there's a very little change since 20 minutes, uh, very little light seen at all. So in fact that of course means that the polarimeter reading hasn't really changed in the last 10 minutes. So there at 30 minutes reading the same as before. Let's confirm that that's about 
54 degrees there and we'll take that as the last reading of our experiment.